Hi, Tubes. Uh, this is uh, going to be our next uh, project right here. And uh, it's probably going to be me and a uh, little dirt bike. Tubes. Be working on this. It's not going to be anything too complex. We're going to uh, turn it into a, a water cooled engine. You know, which means we'll probably just cut all the fins off, make a tank, and make a, a hollow head for it so we can run some water through it. And then run it through this. Uh, we've got this old antique. Looks like a radiator, but it's actually an old uh, heater, heater box, auxiliary heater box for an old car. But uh, we think that'll probably look pretty cool. But uh, like with all our projects, what we're going to do is, uh, this is just a $10 engine we picked up. And I'm glad you started spinning that while I was holding the wire. <laughs> we don't know what's wrong with it or if it's even going to be worth fixing. But uh, like right then, I wouldn't be able to tell if it had a spark. I was not spinning that. I know. You know, no, some some coils, you know, they're funny. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna check. We're gonna check for spark and check all the stuff, and uh, that's what we're gonna do now, and possibly get this thing running to see if it'll run. But uh, some something, something interesting here, and I've never seen it before. Daddy dirt bike's over there. I think he said he's seen stuff like this before. It has a clutch on there, and it has an Allen screw in there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there it is right there. But on the end here also has a circlip, so there must be a groove in the shaft. You know, a retaining ring. And I've never seen that before. And I don't know what this engine was used for. And I would uh, say it don't have any uh, numbers on it, but I would I would think it's probably around a 52 to a 54 uh, model 6S Briggs. We'll know when we take uh, the flywheel off, sometimes they're they're stamped on there and they tell you what month and year they were made. So, Alright, little uh, dirt bike is going to start taking this apart and we're going to see if it's uh, worth rebuilding. Alright. Alright, the uh, little dirt bike just about got the shroud off. Oh man. What we got in there? You got some cement, dirt, something huh. in there. Uh, you know, that's funny because well, it also feels like uh, it feels kind of, it don't feel like uh, Concrete or cement, it feels kind of fluffy. Huh. You never know what you're going to find in them things. So. How's the rest of it look? Uh, dirty, huh. but I mean. No compression, though, right? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got a stuck valve or something. Maybe. I bet yeah. you that's what it is, you're yeah. right. Oh, well, you know, it shouldn't be compression either way. Yeah. I should have checked that when I bought it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't even try to talk to the guy down. He said ten bucks. I gave him ten bucks. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll, maybe we'll pull the plug out and see what we can see in there. Yeah. Well, we're gonna take, gonna take the head we'll off. Take the head off and everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Dump that out, buddy. Before you uh, track it through the house. Okay. That's funny. <laughs> I worth ten bucks just for a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're gonna dig a little deeper. All right. We don't have any compression, so uh, while uh, we know we don't have any compression, we're gonna spin the thing and see if there's any spark. Ready, buddy? Yeah, buddy. I don't see anything. Yeah, I don't I'm think so. It's kind of moving around, but I don't think, I don't think there's yeah, anything. Yeah, I don't think we've got a spark, which, which is pretty common on, on an old engine that's just been sitting around. It's probably just uh, 30 points. Yep. But uh, we're going to take the head off now and the, the points cover and the flywheel. And we'll see what's going on. All right, buddy, go ahead. All right, All right little dirt bike's almost got the head off. This is, this is always the fun part. Sometimes you never know what you're going to find. You never know what you're going to see. No, sometimes, you, you know, you find, sometimes you find little <laughs> nuts in there from yeah, chipmunks. I was going to say, remember that one time I found that, uh, that screw under the valve and that, that, whatever that Ford thing I had was? Right, right. And sometimes that, that's all will keep an engine from running is a, is a nut or some, yeah. something silly. Yeah. Look for that screw all over the place. All right, here we go. Let me turn the light on. Are right, you ready? Go ahead. Yep. Oh Let's yeah. See. Yeah, oh, 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 put it up oh. top. Look at that. Huh. Yeah, a little little dust and uh, yeah, crud yeah. and stuff. I'm seeing the underside of the. Well, that ain't bad That's at all. Bad. No, yeah. How does the spark plug looks good too. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. So uh, a lot of car. Look at the carbon on that. Yeah. Spin that. I think I think I see your no compression problem. Yeah, the intake's about well, stuck uh, open. That's no problem. And the exhaust, right? Oh no, the yeah. exhaust is working. Yeah, the exhaust is working. You know what's strange? 
It's always the intake that's stuck. Oh. Yet the exhaust is the one where you think it would have all the carbon. Hmm. I've, I've come across that a lot. All right, so uh, we might not get it run tonight, but at least we know what the problem is. Yep. But uh, we can take uh, we can find out what's uh, going on with the spark now. Yeah, right. All right, let's take that flower off. All right, uh, on these older engines, uh, be careful, guys, because uh, they have reverse threads. And uh, I'm going to have to hold this flywheel, and little uh, dirt bike is going to try and uh, shock it loose. So I'm going to have to put you guys down. All right, we just popped the flywheel, and it's uh, ready to come off. It's a uh, quarter inch screws and I'll be able to look at the points. A right, little dirt bike's got the flywheel off and like I was telling you guys, on the back sometimes you can see, I don't know if we're going to focus in here, but turn that light on. It looks like it says 53 in that little circle there. And then that D, I guess that D might mean March, is that the, f what, January, yeah, well, February, D March, April. April? April. So that might be uh, April 1953. So that's what we're going to call this. Alright, we still didn't get uh, the quarter inch spin type. There we go. I spoke too soon. You need that? Spin the. Uh, I guess you can't. Okay, the points are working and stuff. Yep. They might just be uh, dirty or oily. Yep. Looks like uh, there might have been some oil leaking out of there. Okay, so chances are it's probably just uh, clean them up. All right. All right, what we're going to do first is uh, we're going to check the capacitor there. You need a screwdriver. you got to disconnect it first. Okay. Or else you get a false reading. And then clean the points. And... Uh, we're going to see if we can get a spark. All right, the little dirt bike is uh, just connecting the capacitor there. That's all you got to do in there. Yep. Yeah, these little meters are cheap, so turn that around, buddy. Yeah, I think they're, they're less than $20. You pick them up on Amazon, maybe I'll, I'll leave a link in the bottom there. But they're good to have. Looks like our condenser is near good. Okay. That's right. You just got it set on uh, 20 microfarads. Is that what that is? Yeah. And it's, we're getting a reading of 0.07. It should be 0.22. We're close to it, you know, 0 0.20, 0 0.21 or 2, or, or, or 0.24, I mean. Yeah. Something, I think, uh, plus or minus 10%. So, all right, we're going uh, we'll, to we'll find a new capacitor and, uh, and go from there. All right, we took the points out here and uh, we cleaned them. They were a little pitted. Here's one side, and here's the other. For some reason, we don't want to focus. But anyway, we cleaned them, and uh, we're going to clean the terminals here and uh, put it back in. All right, a little dirt bike put another uh, good condenser in there, capacitor, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we're looking at the points here, and all these uh, connections where they connect there, if you look, they're pretty, pretty rusted up. So we're going to clean them up and uh, make sure we're getting good contact. All right. All right. Ready? We're going to see if. Uh, oh, there you go. Hey. Oh, look, good spark. I saw yeah, that. Spark. Big spark. Ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a hot spark. Yeah, we got spark. Alright. Alright, we got spark and I think uh, what we're going to do now is uh, lubricate that uh, intake and let it sit for a while because it's getting late and the uh, little dirt bike's got to go back to college tomorrow. So we're just going to lube it up and uh, we'll wait for another day. Maybe uh, I'll take the bottom off maybe tomorrow and, and clean out all the, the gunk and everything. Look at it a little bit. That way, when you come back, everybody ready. Maybe even I'll clean the gas tank too. The gas tank looked like it had a little spritz in it. Didn't look bad, but uh, 
just varnish, no rust. Just right there where the sump is. So I'll, maybe I'll throw some vinegar in there or something. Yeah, All right. What do you say? We call this a video, buddy? Yeah, I think that's good. All right. All right. We'll see you guys in the next one.